Hey, it's Troy here and welcome to TNO Live and welcome to the shop. Hey, I'm out here in the shop today to do a quick video. I uh, wanted to do a quick video about the tube jigs, uh, AKA the Gitsits. If you're old school uh, from the 80s and 90s, you've probably heard of the word Gitsit. So I wanted to do a quick video on them. Uh, so here's what we're talking about right here. Let me see if I'm getting that in the screen. There we go. So, uh, but before we get into the video, um, I wanted to get some housekeeping done, you know, so please, if you haven't clicked subscribe, please click subscribe. It didn't cost you anything. And uh, I've got a lot of great content coming. And the only way to get this content out there other than posting it is with the help of you. So I need your help. So please click subscribe. I won't let you down. Uh, also too, uh, please remember my website, TroyNorthOutdoors.com. Please visit that. There's lake updates there, lake conditions, uh, tackle, tackle discount codes, uh, lots of fun stuff. So check out TroyNorthOutdoors.com. Bookmark that too, if you would, please, because it up I do update it every chance we can. So go. Okay, so let's get to it. What do you say? I'm going to show you how I like to rig my tube baits, um, what equipment I like to fish them with, where I like to fish them, and then I'll show you some tips and tricks. So let's get to it to kind of keep it to the point. Uh, I like to use the Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series 2.75 um, tubes. I really like to use them there. On the back, it shows different ways to rig them. You can see the Texas rig style and the rig style like I'm going to show you here in a minute. So get them at Bass Pro Shops, the 2.75, and then go to Great Lakes Finesse. You can find them on my website or other places as well. And um, get you some of their mini pro tube heads. These are the best, in my opinion. Check these out. So here's what the tube head looks like. Uh, the mini pro tube head. Uh, this has got the right angle for the eyelet. Um, it's, it's got the weight already on there. It's transferred forward like it should be just right with the amount of taper. It's just a really nifty setup. And here's one of the tubes from Bass Pro Shops, them 2.75s. Check that out. It's a brand new white one right there. And I'm going to show you how quick and easy this goes together. So basically turn your, your tube upside down and kind of like an upside down octopus. And I like to moisten this. You know, you can dip it in the lake, uh, put scent attractant on it. Uh, I'm going to spit on it off camera. Okay. Now it's just a little bit wet. And just work that right in that tube hole. Goes in real easy. Now you don't have to wet it. I just like to do it. And then work it on up the tube. I like to go, you know, kind of controlled and slow. That way you don't tear everything up. And it goes on real easy. Work it up. Get them legs just right, and there you go. It's ready to go. Now, you think, well, how am I going to tie it on? Well, it's basically ready to go. i got to do one more thing, as you can tell. Basically, once you get that head right at the top there, you got to take your fairy nail, fairy nails and punch that eyelet out. And then there you go. And actually, I like to punch that eyelet just a little bit. You don't really need to get a whole bunch out. You just need to be able to tie to it. You want to have that. It's kind of camouflaged. See how camouflaged it looks? No, it's really tucked in there. So well, you got enough there to tie your line, and um, and then you're ready to go right there. So check that out. All ready to go. That's my favorite way to fish these, um, is with an open hook and rig just like that. The neat thing is, too, is that this is a quarter ounce weight. So let's say I want to fish a little deeper and I want to use a heavier a half ounce weight. They do half ounces. They do all different weights. Uh, I don't, I'm not wasting the tube. I can get this tube right back off. Slide a new to a new uh, new head in there and use the same hole and this, the tube bait will not be wasted. So you you won't tear up your baits changing out the um, changing out the hooks even because again they go right to the bottom of that skirt they fit perfectly and uh, so they're not tearing into the the body at all down there they're just tearing through for that hole for the eyelet. So extremely extremely neat setup very easy and uh, very uh, very efficient too. So when I fish these I like to use a spinning rod. I like to use a spinning rod and I like finesse style fishing, so I like a light line. So this is an Abu, Ver uh, Abu Garcia Veritas rod. This one's right out of my rod locker. I was fishing this one down at Table Rock Lake recently. Uh, there's one right there. Here's the other neat thing about them. You know, I'm gonna hold on to the skirt and pull on the weight. As you can see, it doesn't tear through the head. You know, it's nice and it's nice and strong. So this one was fished, caught a few fish, and it still looks great. Um, I like to use a spinning rod, medium to medium light action. Mostly the time medium. Uh, this is the medium right here. Uh, I like light line. I like six to eight pound line, no heavier. I like a smaller style spinning reel. That's just my preference. Um, so the reason I like the light line is again, I'm using this mainly for finesse fishing. So I'm using this in techniques where I'm, uh, I want to be, you know, I want my line to be invisible. I'm, I'm fishing not in dense cover because I'm fishing an open hook. 
and I like uh, I like my line to be light because uh, I can like look at this here. This is high C's line. This is six pound line from high C's. Look at this. I've been fishing this line for a few days and look, there's no memory, no nothing. It's still nice, soft, silky, real fine, but it's very, very strong. And uh, so this is six. And again, if you go bigger than eight, it, the line is more buoyant. It becomes a little bigger. It becomes more buoyant. Even in high C's, it becomes a little more buoyant. The thicker line is going to be more floaty. So it's going to take away some of the action, especially if you're fishing a little deeper. And it's also going to give a little more visibility uh, if you're fishing real shallow. So I like to keep it around six or eight pound line on those medium action rods. That's my preferred way to fish it. Where I like to fish these is anywhere from inches deep to 30 foot deep. Um, you can fish these around uh, spawning beds. That's one of the uh, popular ways to fish these. Uh, spawning beds, you can fish them in a spawning bed and uh, work them through. Uh, to catch bass while they're on the bed. Another great way to fish these, especially this white one I just rigged up, or any of the gray ones, is fishing them in um, in schools of shad where bass are feeding on the shad. Uh, toss them in the schools of shad, work them around them are great for fishing schools of shad where bass are busting them. And then of course you can get the heavier weight and put it in there if you want to get down where they're busting shad down deeper. Here in, in the Midwest, a lot of times in the summer, I'll find shad down 20, 30 foot deep and the bass busting them down there. And I can up that weight, get that get that tube bait down there quicker and get down there where I need to be and I can fish those schools down deep. So that's another place to fish them is, is schools of shad. Also too, you can fish these around structure. You don't wanna fish these in brush because again, they're not weedless. So you don't wanna be throwing this in dense timber or in the middle of the tree. You can fish around the edges of the tree if you see fish around the tree. If you want to be right in the tree, you're going to you're going to want to fish it uh, Texas style, which we'll talk about in another video. Um, another couple places of these bluff edges. Uh, if you're fishing bluff edges for suspended fish, or or or, um, or they're just it's excellent for that. It's excellent for that. Or you can fish ledges. You know, so the bluffs for suspended fish is great. If you're fishing rock ledges or rock uh, drop offs, it's great for that. But you don't want to let it sink all the way to the bottom. Um, or if you do, you want to pick it up right away. So if you're fishing rock ledges or rock bottoms, as soon as this bait hits bottom, you're going to want to start bringing it up. Or right before it hits the bottom, you're going to start bringing it up. If you try to drag this across uh, ledges or chunk rock bottoms, it's going to snag. So, so concentrate when you cast it out. Once it gets down to the depth you want, or once you know it just touches, start working it back up. So again, rock ledges, um, uh, bluff walls, schools of shad. Oh, and gravel, gravel flats was the other one. I knew I forgot something. Gravel flats. I really like the fishies on gravel flats, uh, pea gravel and small gravel flats on slow tapers. You can fish them when they're up shallow. You can pull back when they pull the fish pull out. Uh, you can drag it on the bottom in that pea gravel. It won't hang up much, you know. So you can cast it and swim it or cast it and drag it on the bottom. So it's a very versatile bait, obviously. Uh, you know, like I said, anywhere from inches below the water to 30 foot deep or more. So that's some of the favorite places that I like to fish mine and how I like to fish mine with my rig set up and how I like to rig mine up. Now, if you want a few tips and tricks, I'll share some with you. Some of these are old school. So one of the things you gotta remember is this is the tube body. So there's a lot of cavity in there. So if you use a scent attractant, that's a great place to put it. Put your scent attractant in there. And as you're fishing this bait, that's gonna come out of there and give an extra you know, enhancement, uh, whatever brand you use. Um, so that's really good. There's also ways, I don't have one here right now. I thought I had one. Um, if you're, if you're familiar with foam noodles, uh, you know, some of us with bass boats use them in our live wells to protect the fish, give them a little more structure, uh, sometimes using your swimming pool. Get a foam noodle, cut a little corner piece off of that foam noodle with the scissors, and you can use that for a plug if you're worried about holding more scent in there. So you can put the scent in there and put a little plug in there made out of that, that foam, and that will actually uh, hold your scent in there a little longer yet. So, sorry, I thought I had a piece here, I don't. But anyway, put a scent attractant in there. Another thing you can do that's old school, uh, and we've done this and it works, is that you put an Alka-Seltzer in there, or half of an Alka-Seltzer, and stuff it up in there. It will give it some more buoyancy, and but it will give it a lot of fizz, liveliness. Really unique looking. I really don't know what it's mimicking, uh, but it's really it has worked for me in the past. Um, another thing to do is these are covered in salt, and if after a while the salt starts coming off, and uh, they're salt impregnated too, but after the exterior salt comes off, you might want that, that, that salty taste back on there. And so sometimes we will put salt tablets in them. You can get salt tablets and stuff them up in there. And that way it will it dissolve slowly out more salt. So just a few tips. Um, there are some of them are old school. Um, it's a very versatile bait. You don't have to do any of those. You can just fish it like this here or squirt it with a scent, attract it. 
Um, but those will help enhance it if you have tough conditions or if you experiment with them, sometimes those little tricks will work when they won't bite it plainly, you know, so. Those are a few tips and tricks. I think I covered everything. I covered it kind of fast. I know I wanted to keep it to the point. I don't want videos get too long, um, it loses people's attention. There's a lot of details to go into, so that's why I like to sometimes do a next video I'll do about these will be about the Texas rig style. And we'll try to do that from the water too. That way maybe I can do a little more um, uh, footage from the water wrecks in the water showing it to you. So I appreciate you all so much and thanks for watching. And uh, thanks so much for my supporters and my sponsors. Y'all have a great day.